Once you have your routine nailed to a T, girl, you would always wake up feeling like Beyonce. So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. As you're seen by today's title, we're going to talk about low budget things that you can do to look high maintenance. Now, the first thing I'm going to recommend to you guys is lash clusters. Now, this one I haven't personally tried. This is what I typically go for from time to time, which is getting my lashes professionally done. And it lasts me three weeks to a month, sometimes even longer, depending on who I go to. And I love this so much because I feel like it just takes away the stress of getting my lashes done or having my lashes look perfect and honestly it gives me that feeling of i woke up like this and that's why i really love lashes from time to time most times i like to give my lashes a breather i go with falsies you know strip lashes and all that stuff but ideally to get that put together everyday look lashes definitely does make a huge difference i would tell you that for a fact once you have lashes that are there for a long period of time every other thing becomes easy and obviously i know not everyone can afford to get their lashes professionally done it can cost a little penny and i understand that that's the reason why i'm recommending lash clusters lash clusters i've seen on tiktok on instagram on youtube people use them and it looks easy the reason why i don't want to get lash clusters done is because that's like an extra task i work in nine to five i honestly need to be out every Every single day i definitely recommend lash clusters i know they have really easy ones they even have the magnetic ones because i've seen those ones online if you're the kind of person that is not afraid to try not afraid to experiment or wanting to learn beauty tricks and tips i 100 percent recommend lash clusters i heard a lot from the girlies that it lasts from two to three weeks that is a long time okay now the second thing i'm going to recommend is lifting tinting and trimming your eyebrows yourself someone asked me on tiktok the other day like who i go to for for my brows and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've never had my brows done professionally i always do my brows myself and honestly i don't do too much and the reason why i really don't do too much in my brows is because i don't even have brows to begin with i'm not a hairy girl like that so it's very easy for me to work with to tame to trim they have box um brow tints everywhere so i'd recommend that i don't have a specific one that i use i literally just go to the store and the one that i see that is closer to the shade that i'm looking for it doesn't matter what brand it is honestly i just pick it up and i do it myself and they have instructions on the box as well they have at home kits for lifting of brows for trimming of brows for tinting of brows you can find them in drugstore it's not expensive once you have your brows done your lashes sitting there is nothing else like sis there's literally nothing else because your face will already look baked every single morning and when it comes to doing your makeup it is two times easier all you need to do is just spot correct put a little bit of blush do your one two three and you're good and there are a lot of videos online that you can learn from when it comes to trimming your brows or taking care of your brows or taming your brows a lot of videos online to help you do that third thing i'm going to recommend is press on nails press on nails right now have taken a whole different turn back in the day i didn't like press on nails because obviously i couldn't get them right and i didn't like the designs that were out there they were kind of outdated and stuff but i used to use press on nails a lot back in the day i was really really broke i was in uni there's only so much of my money that can go into all these beauty procedures so i really couldn't afford to be getting my nails done every two weeks or three weeks so i would get press on nails like cheap press on nails I typically just get french ones and they were not really close to my skin tone they're not really nice right but nowadays we have press on nails that are sit Team. press on nails that are eating i've had press on nails a couple times when i couldn't get my nails done if you follow jackie aina jackie aina really gets her nails done that's if she ever does get her nail done she always is on press on nails they are really good ones press on nails can literally last you from three weeks to a month they are so quick and easy to apply like you can apply your press on nails in 10 minutes like just go press go press go press take advantage if you want to look put together every day you don't want to have busted crusty dusty nails every single day try press on the fourth thing i'm going to recommend which i'm going to give you two sides to is learning how to do your own hair and specifically learning one single hairstyle that you can do quick easy and it's an everyday type thing i'm going to talk from the angle of wearing wigs because i wear wigs every single day that sounds bad why did that all of a sudden sound bad one thing i do from the wig perspective is to have my everyday Day wig now my everyday wig does not require any effort to get on and sometimes when i feel like i need more with my wig there's something i started investing in lately and that is headbands and these headbands are so cute i'm gonna leave like 
what I mean on the screen. I just put these headbands over my wig every single day and I look clean, sleek, and put together. A tip for my wig girl is your everyday wig should be a closure wig, preferably five by five wig, and it should be straight as well. If you don't know how to deal with length, then it should either be a bob or at least 16 inch. That would be easy for you to deal with on a daily. To be honest, the bigger the closure you can afford, the better for you, but not a frontal. And make sure you're investing in glueless wigs because they will save your life. And then to the other side, which is the second thing I'm going to talk about when it comes to hair, my go-to if I was wearing my natural hair is a low bun like a low slick bun that is the cleanest look ever if your hair is not as long as you'd want it to be in the back just add extension i have mastered how to get my hair in a slick bun my hair isn't that long because i cut my hair all the time like a crazy person but I've mastered how to get my hair to look good on a low slick bun to go out every single time I don't want to wear a wig, right? So master how to do a slick bun if that's what you like. I personally love a slick bun on anybody. Like it just looks so good, so clean, so elegant. I love that slick low bun look. Or if you like a puffed high bun, that's completely fine. Master how to do it so well that it looks good on your facial features. So learn how to do your own hair and the simplest style. You don't need to learn the most most complicated hairstyles like i said for a wig make sure it's short make sure it's straight make sure it's a closure get that and wear that every single day if you want to switch it up add a band for the other side learn how to do a low slick bun okay with baby hairs or without baby hairs or without baby hairs with just sideburns i love that look without baby hairs and sideburns it looks so good or you could just bring out a little bit more in the front it looks so it looks so clean okay i'll put pictures so you see what i'm fantasizing about another thing that will really enhance your look on a daily is teeth whitening now there are a lot of expensive teeth whitening procedures but you can get the same look if you just invest in a good strip teeth whitening strip or a whitening toothpaste or a whitening mouthwash i 100 percent recommend teeth whitening strips itself because they get your teeth looking good i get my teeth professionally clean but to be honest in a long 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 time i haven't gotten my teeth like professionally cleaned i need to actually book that appointment i procrastinate that appointment so much i'm telling you i thought about that appointment this morning when i was brushing my teeth but if you want to get the same look girl get a teeth whitening strip i swear by teeth whitening strips because they do the work okay if you want something that is going to be long lasting effective low budget all of that get the strips the last thing i recommend to you guys in this video that will help you to always look put together on a daily is to nail down a go-to makeup look your makeup look on a daily doesn't have to be intent i've spoken about this before right i think i have when i was speaking about habits that you can do as a regular girl you need an everyday makeup and it doesn't have to be intense it could be three products my everyday look is concealer under my eyes my foundation powder from fenty which i think i've recommended to you guys i'm gonna have it on the screen and then i do my mascara sometimes i don't even do mascara but my brows and that's it and then blush i love blush but the days i'm not going to the office but i still want to look put together but i don't want to wear makeup i have a no makeup makeup look and i think everybody should have a no makeup makeup look you don't even have to use concealer you can get a tinted moisturizer you can get a tinted sunscreen you can get products that you could use on your skin without actually putting full-on concealer foundation all that stuff brush your eyebrows make sure your lashes is done have your lip moisturized and then just put a little bit of glow and that's it everyone should have these two things a no makeup makeup look and an everyday makeup for when you want to wear makeup on a daily that no makeup makeup look usually takes about three minutes it's like brows put something on your skin brush your your lashes put a moisturizer on your lip or a lip gloss or whatever and you're out the door these are little things that you might overlook that you think don't have an impact in your life but they actually do have an impact in your life so i 100 recommend that you take these seriously after doing this for a few weeks i want you to come back and let me know how you feel i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below follow me on my socials which are linked in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, because we're about to go in. Hey, so step it by the shake. Shit, baby, when I see you. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, because we're about to go in. Hey, so step it by the shake. Listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so step it by the shake. Shit, baby, when I see you. Those of you that are listening in your
your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, because we're about to go in. Hey, so everybody's 